According to NOAA researchers in Plainsboro, global warming projected for the end of this century is not likely to increase the number of hurricanes, as others have predicted. They say the frequency of Atlantic hurricanes is more likely to decrease, although storms could become more intense. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan reports. The tropical Atlantic is the focus of two new studies by Tom Knutson and colleagues at NOAA's Geophysical Fluid Dynamics Laboratory. One is based on observational data going back to 1878, the other on computer models of hurricane development under future climate scenarios. As a test case for the modeling study just published in Nature Geoscience, the researchers asked their computer program to predict the past. They gave the model actual data on atmospheric conditions and sea surface temperatures from 1980 through 2006. And you see how nicely the model tracks uh, what actually occurred in the Atlantic Basin year by year. Then they looked at the period from 2080 to 2100. To determine likely future conditions, they called on the same computer models that the UN-sponsored Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change uses. This study supports our previous work that indicates that hurricanes in the warmer climate will be more intense than the ones in the present climate. The hurricanes in the warmer climate also uh, have greater uh, rainfall rates. Uh, these results do not support uh, the notion that greenhouse warming is going to lead to a large increase in hurricane uh, numbers or tropical storm numbers in the Atlantic. If anything, Knutson says the model shows fewer hurricanes developing and making landfall, despite warmer waters that could provide more energy for storms to feed on. We are um, trying to unravel the particular mechanisms that occur in the model to lead to this, uh, what for many people is a counterintuitive result of decreasing hurricane frequency in a warmer climate. The observational study supports what the model suggests, that the linkage between ocean temperatures and hurricane activity is neither simple nor direct. Patrick Regan, NJN News, Plainsboro.